As Texas A&M secedes from the Big 12 and goes on to the Southeastern Conference, the Longhorns happily sent the Aggies packing with a painful goodbye. Or the only word I can use to describe it is that it's special. Um, because this is, this is what we play for in college football. We play for our teammates, we play for our brothers in the locker room, and being able to put a smile on every Longhorn's face tonight, um, that's just special to me. Growing up watching these games, you just know how special these games is. From being so young, you know, watching the atmosphere around here, and you know, this is one of the best atmospheres in college, I mean, in the, in, in the college football. So, you know, when you come out, you get the last win of this rivalry, you know, it's very special. It's something you can tell your great grandkids. Oh, we all dreamed of coming. We came to this university to play in games like this, in the Oklahoma game. And so, so, and definitely, you know, I don't want this rivalry in, but it is. And so, you know, if, if it's going to end, we'd much rather go out on top because I think we have to live in this state with this other school for a little while. So, In the first half, the Longhorns offense struggled like it has in the previous two games, having to rely on a well-executed gadget play for their only touchdown. But while the offense was sputtering, the defense kept the Longhorns in the game. Defense guys want to, want, to, want to shine, and so this game was a perfect example to shine. The first half and the first third, and the third quarter, we, we did we played pretty well on defense. That's what we like to relish in. You know, we, we don't want to just be the best big defense in the Big 12, but we're striving to be the best in the nation. And a game like tonight is something that proves that. You know, a national audience, national television, we want to go out there and play to the best of our abilities. We still didn't, but um, we did good enough to win. I think we did a great job of, of getting the turnovers today. Um, you know, something that we haven't been able to do, really do the past couple weeks. You know, we've been stopping a lot of teams, but haven't been able to get the turnovers. And I think turnovers uh, win games for you. Um, you know, I think that was all key to, to the win tonight. That defensive performance allowed Case McCoy to settle in and set the stage for him to lead the Horns back twice in the second half, including the game-winning drive in the final two minutes. A performance reminiscent of Big Brother Colt. Well, I guess that's a good person to look like. <laughs> we practice our two-minute drill a lot this week because of, because of the execution problems we had last week. And so we knew if we got in that situation, we were going to execute, we were going to be fine, we were calm. And for some reason, you know, we, we had been struggling, but we knew it was time to click. It was time, it was time, time to dig down deep and find something. I, I told him that, that here's where you come out. Here's where you become the guy, and, and here's where you take us down and win the game. Every quarterback has to have a signature moment. This is going to be yours. I told him I thought it would be last week. You weren't ready for that, uh, but now you are. So you're going to take it down and win the game. And, and he had such a smile on his face after the game. It was fun to see that. As this game ended, Longhorn fans were taunting the Aggies with the chance of SEC, SEC. And after their bowl game, that's exactly where the Aggies are headed. As for Texas's immediate future, they have a date with Baylor. As for the long-term future of this series, after a dramatic game like this, one can only hope the two sides can figure out a way to revive the series. In College Station, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.